Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to SteamWorld Quest, the Hand of Gilgamesh, with me, Jelanon, at Lunar Nebula Gaming. We have some things to think about. We've got some new cards. Now, the Smolder, I'm not really too concerned about at the moment. I do wonder if that means it'll be useful on the boss, since we did just get it in this area. Hmm. For now, I'm not going to worry about it. But we got a Thunderstorm, and we have a Wind Grounds Drum, and we're not using Fire stuff. That's probably better than Blizzard. Huh. I probably don't need two Creeping Colds. Hmm. Uh, Element Ward is still too useful, I think. Focus and Arcane Detective are still pretty nice. So I think what we're going to do is a little weird, but I'm going to do it. We prepare not to have Armory do quite as much with the steam pressure. Try to let our blue person, Copernica, do that more. Smolder, I still don't know if we need you or not. Uh, for now, that's fine. We could go with a Gigaton Punch as well. We got two regions. I'm gonna get rid of one. Hmm. Fixer only works once, but then it clears out of the deck, and thus makes it more likely we get the other stuff we want. Hmm. As much as I want another region or a quick fix. You know what? Yeah, I think... Get rid of one shields up. Take the quick fix. We kind of depend on Armory more than the others for generating steam pressure. And the Arcane Detective and Fixer. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, and then we need to switch some equipment around. Change that. Blizzard Orb has been fine, but we change you to the Wind God's Drum. Okay. Who else does fire damage? No one at the moment, I think. Alright. So that should be okay. We will see. It probably won't be as consistent with stuff. But we really don't care if Galio gets the chains. Because we're more concerned with him healing and or Gigaton punching. I think that is what we're going for. All right, let's go through here. Did I miss anything? No, I did not. That's what I was last time. Now we go down, we attack. They don't see it coming. And we try to see how effective this is. Hmm, we can't use Gigaton Punch yet, so that's just not going to happen. Uh, we could get... That. This. That. We need the Element Ward. Or at least I'd like it. And we will see how this goes. Then we need to generate a lot more steam pressure so that we can get more stuff going. Hmm. Okay. Well, we have a thunderstorm. That is a thing. Hmm. Intercept could also be useful here. I don't need two thunderstorms. don't need mend right now. Okay, well, this changes my plan entirely. If we do that, this should flinch it and prevent it from being able to do something this round. Like gain steam pressure. So, good. Okay, it's only a 70% chance to flinch, but so far I don't think I've missed one. That's pretty lucky. And we'll see if that luck remains or not. Okay, we've only got two steam pressure. Slightly unfortunate, but we can do this and that. And that will probably take out the bomb. Right. Probably. Yep, okay. Good. Good news, Ravens, Griffins, I don't know. Bad news bears, good news scrivens. Maybe, maybe that's a thing? Can we make it a thing? That's the real question. Hmm. Oh, Groundhogs? Good news Groundhogs? That might make more sense. More grounded in reality. Because Groundhogs. Yep. Okay, Thunderstorm, I like you. You're pretty good. 
That was like 400 damage for two Steam Crusher. Okay, then. That is while we're using the drum. So, that is helpful. Uh, I am low on health now. So that's a little concerning. Anything in this way? Ooh, teleportal. After we check the knowledge. The knowledge has indeed become riches. What about you? Hey, there's something written on the chalkboard. It says important. Maybe it's a clue to something that can help us. Fellow alchemists and courget enthusiasts. Courgette? I don't know. I have no idea. My research on the rumored mega zucchini referred to by mountain tribes as the golden marrow or Sasquash has finally come to fruition. Supposedly, the golden marrow has migrated to the Dark Frost Mountains from a strange territory rich with unknown flora and fauna. For future map revisions, I have decided to call the strange territory the Cursed Lands. That Killjoy Council Patrick doesn't like it, so everybody should really start calling that until it sticks. I am putting together a mountain expedition. Anyone interested in joining in and becoming part of Zucchini history can sign their names here. Yours sincerely, Professor Lemuel. P.S. Don't forget to pack your marble pillows. How many signed up for this cuckoo trip? Let's see. None. Wow. So not important. But also probably something we will run into at the Dark Frost Mountains. Okay then. So squash, we will search for you. I bet the golden marrow is a crafting component. Okay, hello you. Omega Theta Brats. Are you the same? Are you different? Uh, let's see. Where's my spectacles? Uh, you're not my spectacles. Are you? No, no, no. There you are. I'm just blind. Okay, yeah, it is Omega Theta Brat. They are weak to fire, and very good against Blizzard. Hmm, also weak to Arcane. Okay. Well then. Too bad. We are sad. Uh, oh. Oh my. But they are certainly not resistant to lightning. Okay then. This seems to be going fairly well so far. We did split the damage, but... Still had three out of four hit one. That's not half bad. Oh, you also have a barrier. Uh, looks like they tried to bury the same person. No, no, okay. We weren't that lucky. I see. And I am sad. Okay, well. I do a little bit of that. I should have ended on the top one. Oh, well. Supasoka. Super Soka again. And then Water Jet. Okay, and Shard, ouch. We do counter. Like an account. Okay, then. I do not have enough steam pressure to do everything I want to do. We will try this. And then that. And let's get rid of Intercept. And Brave Buster. Uh, we'll have Rock Strike. This might end it. I am wrong. Unless. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, they did. Alright then. Good work, Thunderstorm. Very good card so far. Alright, how is Auric doing? Auric, you need XP. Hmm. Who doesn't need as much XP? Copernica. Or, oh, Armalee, actually. Okay. So, once again, we're trying to generate stuff for everyone else. Cyclone Slash is nice. Inspiring Grace would be nice. Koma Ingu is... Eh, we don't need it since we have the other ward. So let's get more Wind Calls. Or not Wind Calls. Point all the EI cuts and an extra wind call to generate steam pressure. Under pressure. Uh, where do I want to go here? Did I already read that book? Did I read these? I guess I did the Swords Notes version. Okay, is this a hint? Right 
And then there's a thing there, and there's an X, and there's a step. Hmm. So blue left, purple up, red right, green down. I don't know. No idea how. Oh. Okay. So anything over here? First, we must check everything. Okay, so we know purple goes up. Let's go up. Um, okay, it's kind of hard to read that thing with the candlelight. Hmm. Do I want to take orange now? Orange. Ooh, we can save and heal. Uh, then green. Stupid dragon. We paid good money for that prism rock thingy. Now cough it up before I make you. The stomach acid will melt it. Aha! Uh -huh. Looks like we caught up with the gate crashers and another dragon. Okay, then. Speaking of caught, does this make you thieves? Very funny, frog face. And we're in the middle of a thing here, so if you don't mind getting lost. I'm trying to wrap my head around where you found a navigator prism in the first place. Oh yeah? How about wrapping your head around this? The axe? Calm down, everybody. I am sure that we can settle our differences and turn the situation to our mutual advantage. Siding with bandits? Well, the two seem resourceful enough to know their way around. Regardless of tricks and traps, they could prove useful allies. Hm. This place is nothing compared to the maze like catacombs back home. We don't want or need your. Woohoo! Our heroes threw themselves at the chance to expand their team and beat another dragon. Okay, so they might count as a single character together. That would be kind of fun. And can probably swap back and forth. Hmm. Well, I am not sure what is best against this dragon. Let's not die. Thunderstorm will probably be good. Super Soak is kind of nice. It'd be nice if I could get one more green guy thing. Let's give it a mend. Focus is kind of nice. Okay. Steam pressure turn. And generating a weakness. Alright. Yoink. Immune. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Hmm, so immune to frost damage? It does have a blue glow to it. Uh-oh. Sleepy time. Hmm. Let's read this thing. Okay, so it's immune to basically every condition I would want to inflict on it. It is very weak to fire, so it's a frost dragon. Great. Great. Every... yeah. Yeah. Everything I didn't have prepared yet. Okay. Focus your chi. Use that. Um, get rid of the eye cut for now. Cyclone slash. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll have two steam pressure for next turn. And we're doing the lightning damage. Should be fine, right? It is weak to lightning. Thanks to the Super Soaker, which does no damage to it. Okay, good thing we shielded up. Ingenuity. That doesn't sound great for me. Why isn't it great for me? I ask you. Ah, oh, yes, and we still have Gigaton Punch in the deck. Okay, well, here is a barrier I want. And that. I can quick fix somebody. Uh, you currently have less health, right? Yeah. Sort of. You will, because you don't have a barrier. Okay. Thunderstorm! Yeah, that's good damage. Okay. Frost Breath. I don't like it. And I'm apparently blind and asleep. Hmm. Now, we don't know everything about blindness yet, but I'm assuming... 
Yeah, significant chance to miss with attacks. Damage will wake the unit up. So Blizzard can wake everybody up. Hmm. It just does nothing to the dragon. Just a little bit unfortunate. Uh, so you know what we're going to do? Yike it. Yike it. Mask. Uh, heal everyone a little bit. Okay. Well, can I... Okay, I can't miss healing. That's nice. I can miss everything else. But two things. Okay. Get a little bit of my max health back. Ingenuity. Okay. Arcane Detector. We do that. Creeping Cold doesn't matter. I can't afford the Blizzard. So we're not going to be able to use that anytime soon. Okay, try to hit something. I hope you generate steam pressure regardless of being accurate or not. Elemental Ward. Uh, well, you did hit, so now I'm not sure. Okay. Should have paid more attention last time. Mm -hmm. So we can Super Soaker make it weak to lightning again. Seems like a good plan, but also... But also... I do want to not die. We don't need the second super soaker. I wish I could forward mend. That would be great. Oh well, we'll just barrier. Plus, we have pretty much everybody blind right now. So that's not great. Ah, I should just not use super soaker. Okay. Now we know. Sleep. Now we should bring to sleep the people that uh, aren't super necessary for dealing damage to your face. Let's focus. Thunderstorm might work. Or, you know what? Here's another idea. We will try to inspire. Let's try to inspire. Inspire me! Inspire? Please. Nope. There is no grace to be found in blindness here. Hmm. Not in this situation. Okay. Though apparently there is a girl who is learning to animate while blind. There's like a braille program and everything. That's pretty cool. It was in the BBC News. So, anyway, that's just something cool. Mm-hmm. What to do here? No, you're still blind. Auric is no longer blind. So let's just do this. Get some more healing out there. Hope we don't die. I mean, this thing's almost at half health. No idea if it enrages or not. This is definitely not the uh, proper equipment, shall we say, for this boss. So this might be a bit of a slog. I'm sure it'd be a lot faster with fire. Hmm. Okay. What do we want to do here? I think we shoot up Auric. Quick fix. Does that get rid of blindness? No. No, 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 no. Well, we do that anyway. I don't want a Cyclone Slash just yet, even though it's decent damage right now. It's not great. But it is decent. We don't need creeping code. Well, I guess we use it since she's asleep. We don't have really a better choice right now. That's over 300 damage. It's like 360-ish. I won't say no. But I won't say yay. Because it does use all of our steam pressure up. Uh -huh. Well, we do need to keep the damage rolling. And the heels flowing. Creeping cold is useless. The eye cut is not useless because it generates steam pressure. Uh, and we can try to hit with a thunderstorm. Just maybe. Okay. We get one steam pressure. Okay, with a miss, we still generate the steam pressure. Okay. It has been confirmed. Oh! It was going to do another strike with the combo, apparently. Well, that's interesting. 
That seems worth it. Okay, wind call for free. And we can regen. Can't use the super soaker. Hmm. I think we keep all of our stuff. Because we want to generate steam pressure. And we'll save it for the future. There's that. Okay, frost breath hurts. But what hurts the most is being so close and missing. Okay. Alright. Galio is no longer going to miss. That's an interesting theory right there. Hmm. I do want more steam pressure. So we'll do that in this turn, which isn't the best turn. This is a setup turn. Crit, crit, crit. No! Yeah, plus 8% crit. Clearly, it is not enough. Okay. Alright, our healer is asleep. That's not the best thing ever. Alright, well, we can mana barrier. I can wake him up with a nice chilling blizzard for two steam pressure, but really, it feels like a waste. Uh, whereas, if Auric goes with, say, a healing, and then a batting, we get an extra thunderstorm out of it. It hits five times instead of four. Seems pretty good to me. One, two, three, four, five. The fifth one missed. Oh, oh you're still blind. Oops. That was really good then. Good work, Copernica. I'm proud of you. Okay. We have mend. That's EI. Mendicant. EI cut. We'll just slowly but steadily death by a thousand cuts. Should be fine. Tail slam, go for orc, please. Ah, lame. Okay. Hmm. Now you can ask with please. I'll do that. In quick fix. Super Sugar will probably miss. And Water Jet doesn't matter anyway. Hmm. I think I do this. To prepare for the Frost Breath. A little bit better than usual. Makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Resistance up. Thank you. Or it will heal back a little bit. Okay, but now our best damage healer is asleep. Hmm. I kind of want to use the Fuku no Kami mask. Hmm. Just for a little extra healing. Yeah. Yeah, and then we also get Rain of Blades. Though I am blind. Oh. Apparently not as blind as a bat, which can use echolocation, so... I'm doing pretty well. Thanks. Okay, then. I'll take it. Counter punch. There you go, Galio. Tally ho, men and female. There we go. Uh, get rid of Creeping Cold. Let's try to inspire some grace here. It may not happen, but we will try. Okay. Nope. Okay. Well, still doing okay. We haven't had to backtrack and try to grind for anything. So that's been nice. Mana barrier myself. And we'll focus up. Hopefully I'll get rid of the blindness shortly. Or we can use ointment on that. Either way, we're prepping for next turn to be a good damage turn. Shouldn't be able to put sleep, I think. Right. Okay. I am wrong. Okay, well, went for Auric. We won't get our five strikes of lightning twice. But we will get this twick. I'll give it a blizzard. Arcane Detective. Lots of lightning. I am still blind, though. Hmm. You know what? I think what we do instead is ointment do you work on blindness 
Yes. Use that on her. Then we do both of those. And we hope that's good. Okay. Should be something like 800, 900 damage. Maybe, maybe that'll kill. Almost. All we need is the counter punch to activate, and we're done. Counter punch, counter punch. Oh, missed. <laughs> so close. Galio, you are almost the one. Okay, inspire some grace here. And inspire more grace. And we'll see what it works. Okay. Well, we didn't miss out on playing four cards next turn. That makes me feel slightly better. And we beat a boss without really needing to have the perfect equipment for it. Okay, then. Cool. The prism. It's totally gone. Look what you did. It's going to take us even longer to get out now. My sincere apologies for any inconvenience at your end. However, at our end, we still hold the required means to advance through the Wayfarer's gates. At this point, collaboration would surely benefit us all. Do we have a choice? Hm, fine. But we're not partners, allies, friends, or whatever. We're just happening to ramble in the same direction. If I see something fancy, I'll grab it, whether it belongs to you or not. And there's not a thing you can do about it. You squeaky sneak. Splendid. Everything worked out without anyone getting hurt. Put a sock in it, furry head. Except for my feelings, that is. <laughs> Oryx mask is so expressive. Tara and Thane. Independent to a fault, these roaming rifters like a true north have put their trust in nothing but themselves. Being away from home for so long, they've reconciled with the dusty roads. Okay. Ooh. And they have more XP than Auric, too. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get rid of those two for those two. And check some things out. What are you good at? Axe chop. Seems a decent physical damage. Cut purse. Heal 70% strength. That's physical damage to one foe. And steal some gold. More powerful forms reward more gold. You can only steal from them once. Okay. Fool's gold. Deals 103% magic as physical damage to one foe twice. Each hit has a 15% chance to inflict confusion. Hmm. If Cup Purse was previously used, has a chance to do even more cool stuff. Okay. Or another hit, basically. Twin combo. Oh, physical and magic arcane damage to one foe. 50% chance to inflict poison. Hmm. That seems pretty good. What else do you have? You have more fool's gold. You have death pulse. Ooh. And it repeats if something dies. And it combos with Copernica, where it deals more damage. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I do want that in there. Steel strength. Lowers one foe's strength and raises Terra and Thane's strength by two grades. Oh, that's just good. Okay. Get rid of one axe chop for that. Uh, is Death Pulse too expensive? Siphon Mind. Lowers one foe's magic and raises Terra and Thane's magic. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Get rid of one more axe chop for another Siphon Mind. This is just cool. We only have one Fool's Gold and one Cut Purse. So if we want that combo to work well... Hmm. I think we get rid of one Twin Combo since we have to set up for it anyway. And then we get another Cut Purse. Yeah. Okay. I think we like that for now. Clearly, working with Copernica seems to be pretty good at the moment. But uh, we're not. So there. Bandit's arms. What's your chain? Leech. Ooh. Equal to the damage dealt, you get to heal. Nice. Uh, firepower. Who has my arcane damage? Did I never buy that? Oh, right, right, right. I died. And then I bought something else. Okay, nobody else has fire damage at the moment. Uh, so we're not going to do that. Okay. 
Well, let's look at these questy old books. Mm, anything else? No? Teleported? Okay. Alright, well we have a new friends. I want to see them in combat before we call it an episode. Anything else? Hmm. Chinese in the books? Oh, those students. Always losing their change. Attention all students. As stated in the recently refurbished Alchemy Education Act, any violation of academic integrity is subject not only to disciplinary probation, but also paddling. This is crazy. It must be her. But why? Seems like each new pair of lips impels your apprehensions to grow. They do. And it bothers me. Intriguing. Will you stop with those jittery little barks? Doubt. Hmm. Grants Copernica a shield. Oh. It absorbs all that type of damage and heals her for that amount for two turns. Also inflicts malfunction. Oh. So there's a downside. Clearly. That makes sense. Doubt is really not a good thing. That's pretty cool. So if we could heal the malfunction with a card in the future, that would make it worthwhile. Can we have these guys? No, you saw me. Okay. Well, we get to see our new friends in action. Cool. And we got cuppers and fool's gold. Oh, sweet. Fool's gold is magic damage, right? Yes. So, we siphon the mind. Wait, this is a Delta Tau person? Delta Tau punk. Fool's gold. And leech. Okay. Siphon your mind. Okay, 45 money, I'll take it. He has three hits. And leech. Wow, that is an almost one shot with one whole round. Just with those two. I like it. Okay. Maybe it's time to heal a little bit. Hmm. Get rid of an axe chop. Fortune's favor is for our other friend. So we'll do that. Actually, wait. We'll do that. And make you flinch to death. Okay. Take that. I'm guessing Thane is the axe wielder and Terra is the knife wielder, but I don't know. Chaos Theory. That hurts. You punk. I want to steal your money. But uh, I can't right now. So the next best thing is to wear a mask that looks really stylish. And heal my friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stylish mask. And random blades. There we go. Now we have excuses to find more stuff to buy for our friends. And hopefully we can afford it by stealing money. Hmm. We have our twin combo, which we don't need right now. I can do this. Inspire some grace. Do that. And yeah. Delta Tau, thug. You should go down soon. Right? Except you're evading everything. Mm -hmm. This might do it. It did not. Okay. Well, the other nice thing about having a full complement of team members is that we will be able to switch them out. Oh, cut purse. Good. So we definitely try that. If that doesn't work, we, uh, we just go for the glory. Steal that money. Yes. Okay. Now we can afford more things. Yay. All right, team. Leave a like for our new team members. Subscribe for more gaming videos. Comment below on what you think of the new team. And have a great day.